टूडेज टॉपिक इज मैथमेटिक्स द लैंग्वेज ऑफ द यूनिवर्स ये जो सब्जेक्ट है इट विल नेवर लीव यू अलोन इट विल ऑलवेज बी देयर फॉर यू इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द फैक्ट वॉट एवर योर गोल इज आई आई टी नीट गवर्नमेंट जॉब स्टार्ट बिजनेस ग्रो स्टार्टअप एनी थिंग ईच ऑफ दीज फील्ड हैव मैथ्स इन साइड दैम मैथ्स विल ऑलवेज बी देयर फॉर यू सो वाई फीयर मैथ्स वाई रन अवे फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट Why don't you become a master of this OG subject? And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to become the god of mathematics. So make sure to watch the whole video. Whatever I'm going to tell you in this video is just absolutely worth the few minutes. I don't think anybody has ever dwelled into this depth of mathematics. Make sure to watch the whole video. So hello everyone. I'm Shreesh, currently an 11th grader. Scored ninety eight percent boards the previous year. Now I am on a mission to help you all cook your academics. In this video, I am covering the score maxing series, and this video is a part of that score maxing series. In this series, I cover each and every subject and tell you how you can maximize your productivity and kick out societal expectations and score hundred out of hundred in each and every subject during your board journey or any other exam journey. so make sure you subscribe this channel in this video we are going to talk about how to become the god of mathematics starting this video and yes this video is not just for class 10 students it is for every student out there who is struggling with maths and for the class 10 students who are watching this video i have a suggestion and the suggestion is for maths you need to practice questions in fact quality questions and when i say quality questions i hear or i mean the edupart one shot books or the question banks these are the books which contain a wide range of questions and these are not just questions they are the most important questions carefully picked and designed by the cbse experts or experienced teachers is specially designed for class 10 boards so i would highly recommend you all to check out this books the link is in the description box check out these books and you can buy these books as they are just worth it they will change the game for your class 10 boards these books contain all the type of questions be it competency based questions and the best part is they contain an exercise for each and every chapter and that is push yourself exercise and this exercise is all the challenging questions which will just tackle your critical thinking which will make you question how to approach these type of hard and challenging questions so i would highly recommend you all to buy this books as this book has both easy questions moderate questions and important questions along with the tough questions so i would suggest you all to buy this books link is in the description box now just jump on to the main video how to become the god of mathematics the first part is do some real thing maths is a subject which does not make you practice questions for scoring good marks it teaches you problem solving skills needed much for your whole journey for your whole life maths is a subject for which you don't need to practice questions just for scoring good marks it develops your brain solving challenging problems solving problems develops your brain it designs your brain in a way that you are able to now just tackle challenging decisions challenging problems challenging situations in life this is a problem solving skill you need to have in your life you need to have and math teaches you that it's not just random subject it has a deep conceptual impact in your mind it is the subject that tests your iq that tests your critical thinking physics and math are the subject that have IQ that need IQ of answering that need some devotion to be study and now let's dive into our second point and that is develop your brain whenever you are going to solve a question pen mat uthao pehle kuch second socho ki wo question kaise banega apne dimag mein pura road map bana lo wo question ka take a mental walk and ab tumhare dimag mein pura question bana hua hai फाइनली तुमको बस पेन उठाना है वो पूरा जो भी तुम्हारे दिमाग में उसको लिख देना है अलॉन्ग विथ 
some calculations some calculations karna honge and gradually it will take time but i guarantee ki with some time you will have, you are left with this master level of brain that is able to just visualize and feel any kind of problem and this thing will help you in physics and maths very very much and trust me this tip that will save you a huge amount of time in your exams so try this tip before solving any problem this brings us to our next point and that is calculations calculations are one of the most fundamental aspects of mathematics jitne bhi question hai usme calculation karna hi padega so exam mein jitne bhi question aayenge tumhe wo sab question mein calculation karna hai ab tumhe pata hai ki maths ke paper mein calculation karna hai to why don't you strengthen that area why don't you make your calculation strong and this is how you prepare for exams this is how you score good in exams कि जो भी वीक एरिया है जो भी एरिया जिससे हर बार क्वेश्चन जो इससे क्वेश्चन फोर श्योर आएंगे स्ट्रेंथ इन दैट एरिया एंड दैट्स हाउ यू गेट नाइनटी एट सो रिटर्न इम बैक टू द टॉपिक हाउ टू मेक योर कैलकुलेशन फियर्स एंड पॉइंट वन फॉर दैट इज प्ले विद नंबर्स इन रियल लाइफ हाउ डू यू डू दैट आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन दिस विद एन एग्जाम्पल द एग्जाम्पल इज तुम में से सभी कोई दुकान जाते होगे दुकान में सामान खरीदोगे सपोज कि तुमने एक सामान खरीदा छह सौ रुपए में एक के जो देन यू हैव टू हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ ब्रेन जिसने थिंक किया कि सात सौ पचास ग्राम खरीदते तो कितना लगता दिस क्वेश्चन वंस योर ब्रेन बुक्स ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन देन यू आर गुक योर ब्रेन इज गुक यू हैव दैट पोटेंशियल टू रीच दैट दैट ब्रिलियंस इन मैथ्स सो Make sure you play with numbers in real life by doing this type of things. Be creative. The second point is whenever you are trying to do any calculation, try to find out कि ये क्वेश्चन और छोटे में कैसे सॉल्व हो सकता है, या फिर ये क्वेश्चन बिना सॉल्व बिना पेन चला ही कैसे सॉल्व हो सकता है. This thing you need to just develop your own tricks in mathematics. For example, अगर तुम्हें multiply करना है forty four को ten point five से तो कैसे करोगे मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल वुड डू इट द ट्रेडिशनल वे 44 इंटू वन एंड जो भी प्रोडक्ट आएगा उसको वन डिसमल पीछे शिफ्ट कर दोगे बट व्हाट अ ब्रिलियंट माइंड वुड डू इज दैट 44 का 10 गुना करके उसमें उसका 44 का आधा जोड़ देंगे आंसर इज फोर सिक्सटी टू दो सो नो हाउ आई डिड इट कमेंट इट डाउन एंड दो डोंट चेक द कमेंट्स Now moving on to our next point, and that is don't lose to a question. The thing is that whenever you face a tough question, you solve it for one or two time, and then check the solution once you are not able to do so. But what I would do, I call it losing to a question. What I would do instead is that I would solve that question irrespective of whatever it takes, how much time it takes. It does not matter to me. And yes, there are questions which I cannot solve, which are not solved, which cannot be solved by me. There are questions which are tough, actually tough, which you cannot solve. And for those questions, efforts matter, results don't. As long as you put the effort like an MF, the results don't matter at all. It is your efforts. You fought like a warrior. You fought like a warrior. the results don't matter whether you are able to solve that question or not your efforts matter how much time you put in that who you put in that question how much time you took to solve that question you took to uh, analyze that question and this is how you develop all kinds of approach aise baithne se tumhe ye pata chal jata hai ki ek tarah ka question ko ek topic ka question ko कितने तरीके से अप्रोच किया जा सकता है जितने बार तुम अटेम्प्ट करोगे उस हर अटेम्प्ट में तुम अलग अलग अप्रोच होगे एक बार ये एक बार वो एक बार अलग एंड दिस इज हाउ यू क्लब ऑल द अप्रोचेस टुगेदर एंड सी कि कौन से टाइम पे कौन सा अप्रोच सही है एंड इस एक क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करके तुम्हें पता चल जाएगा कि बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन को कैसे सॉल्व करने कैसे अप्रोच करना एंड दैट इज वाई एफर्ट्स मैटर इन मैथ्स 
you put the effort in one question whatever time it takes it takes one day two day three day it does not matter and once you solve that question by chance after putting a large amount of time the level of happiness you reach the level of dopamine released is just unmatchable many of you in this generation cannot match that level of dopamine a man gets when he fights hard enough to get that final result of his hard work not just for maths the next point is you solve a question to just solve it but the most brilliant minds in the world solve a question because they are obsessed with maths the level of happiness they get by solving a tough question is just unmatchable so you should solve questions not to solve them only but to but solve questions because you feel obsessed to maths be obsessed with solving questions and how you get that level of obsession is by solving questions itself it may sound paradoxical but it is paradoxical you solve questions you cannot solve as many questions but with time when you are able to solve questions there are some questions which challenge you and once you accept that challenge you go on a mental war with yourself and once you break that mental war and just solve that question you become obsessed with maths a few of you may find it absurd but once you relate to it you will know the next and one thing solving the problem till it ends is the most beautiful thing a man can do moving next so it was all the knowledge and experience of mine in one single video regarding maths hope you like the video and if you have a more broader idea about maths then do let me know in the comment section those people who have any doubt in their mind feel free to reach me out in the comment section i will surely reply to all your dms like this video subscribe this channel to fall in love with studying and cook your academics signing off mm -hmm.